<laughs> yes, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. It's quite funny what's just happened there. Uh, you're dear. Uh, oh, you look like a road mender who's been all blown up. Well, close enough. Look, I desperately need to get to London. Are you passing a station? Yes, indeed, old man. What, in this car? No, not anymore. I hope you have another one. Uh, maybe. But, but where's all your kit? I'm in my pocket. I'm a colonial. I travel light. Oh, I, okay, a colonial. So you really must know something. Well, I've done places, had people, been things. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, old man. Yes. We can do, do both of us a little favour. <laughs> I'm the liberal candidate for these parts, but I know nothing. I see that. I do, I do speak to a meeting at Bannockburn this evening, and I'm 30 minutes short with my text. Well, they're miles from Bannockburn. Well, you see, I know nothing. <laughs> but if you could talk about something for about 20 minutes or so, it would help me out no end. And then you'll take me to a station in well, your other car. Of course I will. Excellent. <laughs> well, then my name's Twisted, by the way. Harry Twisted. Ah. Yeah, Sir Newton Tweedsmuir. Uh, I, I think you could do with a wash and a brush up. Well, a wash will do. So, you're from around here then, are you? Only ancestrally. This is my house. Oh, very, very nice. Uh, <coughs> this will sound very presumptuous, Sir Newton, but you wouldn't be able to spare me a bite to eat, would you? I'm rather hungry. Absolutely, old man. Least I can do. Haggis okay for you? Once again, I began to recall the advice of old Peter Pina. But after his last lot of advice, I thought better of it. Paris, <laughs> <laughs> only if it's dead, Sir Newton. As we ate, I told him about life in Bulawayo, spicing my narrative with anecdotes of dubious heritage, while he bored me stiff. <laughs> so, so there I was, abandoned by my bearers, one shot left in the chamber, trousers round my ankles, ah, 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 very drunk at the time, of course. <laughs> <laughs> However, I soon discovered he had friends in high places, so I told him the whole story. Good grief! Look, look, I may know nothing, Mr. Hannay, uh, 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 twister, twister, yeah, but I can size up a man. <laughs> you're no murderer, and you're no fool, and I believe you're speaking the truth. <laughs> I'll send a wire to my godfather, Mr. Walter, Sir Walter, Gullivant, of the Foreign Office, and tell the tale. Sir Walter Bullivant, I met him at my club only a few days ago, I had no idea. You probably, I probably won't remember you, but I'll fill him in, just to be safe. Better have a password. Something like that. Can't be too careful for what I've hold, heard told. I'll tell him, you'll tell him the words. Blackstone. Right, Blackstone. He'll take care of you. He'll be at the his country house retreat in Sunningdale, Whitsuntide, fishing on the road, Kenneth. Come on, it's time to go. Come on. 